Hi, and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this quick tip for slider revolution, I want to show you how you can easily get around having to copy elements between different slides. So I'm working on a client's website at the moment, and I've gone through various different stages, and I need to go and add some extra bits and pieces into some of my slides. So instead of having to go and recreate those slides or go and recreate the elements, we're going to take a look at how we can quickly pull those in or import those from previously created slides. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. So for this example, I need to pull in this availability and bookings button into a slide that I previously created that doesn't have that included. So we could do that very easily. If we jump back over into Slider Revolution and I go through to the link that I want, so this is the slider that I want to edit. So I'm going to go into there, choose that. Once we've loaded that in, the next thing I need to do is, for this example, go into my global layers. Now, you're not limited to using three global layers. It's just because I've got multiple slides using the same overlay. Instead of having to create, create that on every single slide, it made more sense to use a global layer to do that. Now, I've got a link in the description below if you want to check out global layers and how they can speed up the process of working with Slider Evolution. And take a look at that. Okay, so let's just open that up so I can take a look at the settings and the information that I've got in my global layer. So if I scroll down, you can see this is what I've got, and as you can tell, I've got that button is not in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that in. So I'm going to go to Add Layer, and I'm going to choose Import. And once I choose Import, I can then go and select from various different options. You can see I can select the slider, I can select the slide, and I can select the layer type. Now, because I've set this up as a global layer in all of my slides except for this one, all I need to do is choose a slider. So I'm going to choose one that I know has this element that I want to copy in. Click on that. That will go through, load that in, and that will show me all of the slide elements that I have. Now, obviously, if I didn't set this up as a global element, all I need to do then is once I've chosen my slider, I then just need to come through and choose my slide. And then I can choose the layer type if I want to from there. But I can see that the button is already available for me, so all I need to do is click on the plus on there. That'll say, do you want me to import this layer? I'll say, yes, I do. That will then go through and import it into my slider. So I can now close this down, and you can see there's our availability and booking button. All I need to do for this example, because this slider is slightly bigger because it's a home page slider, is reposition that, check my alignment to make sure it's all nice and neatly lined up, and then just hit the save slide. That will now go through and add that in there, save it out, all very quick and very easy without having to go through and manually recreate that particular element. Obviously, you're not limited to just elements. You can load in any different kind of information from any of your sliders using that import option. Well, that's all there is to it. I just want to show you this quick tip to help speed up your workflow and productivity when working with Slider Revolution 5 and your websites. If you found this video useful and you'd like to see more of this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like and a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.